Hey, does anybody remember former White House lawyer and man whose candy store exists only if you truly believe? <laughs> Ty Cobb. It's been a couple of months since this man packed up his mustache wax and left the Trump administration. And I always assumed that Cobb would spend his retirement traveling, possibly in a hot air balloon that runs on the laughter of children. <laughs> but perhaps, just perhaps, I had Ty Cobb all wrong. Because this week in Washington, D.C., and I have to tell you, this is absolutely true, Ty Cobb was spotted pumping his fists to the musical stylings of a punk band called Cop Stabber. <laughs> I had no idea Ty Cobb was so punk rock. Although the signs were there. What is the mustache if not the mohawk of the face? You gotta put it on it. According it. to people in attendance, one particular number the former Russia probe defender seemed to enjoy was a song titled, I Like Cocaine. <laughs> so are we sure that really is a mustache on his upper lip? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't I can't. know. <laughs> A photographer noticed him and got these shots. Here's the former lawyer for the White House with his fist in the air. Here he is giving the double finger guns to the camera. And of course, here he is playing a mean air guitar. Wow, that guy can shred, and surprisingly, it's not evidence. <laughs> and. His presence at the show did not go unnoticed. Cop Stabber's lead screamer, Dave Poole, said, I threw beer on him, called him whiskers, and got a high five from him. <laughs> but noted that Cobb dipped out during butt drugs, <laughs> which I hope to God is the name of a song. <laughs> is it? Is it? Okay. Okay. Good. And. What and I'm and 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 we have the song queued up. Let's take a listen. That 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 is absolutely horrifying. <laughs> this is what Nancy Reagan warned about with her campaign: just say no to butt drugs. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, in space news, it was announced this week that the comic strip Peanuts and NASA are collaborating again to inspire a passion for space exploration and STEM education among students. And they've already inspired children all over the country to go on the internet and Google, who are the Peanuts? Because <laughs> the final Peanuts comic strip was published in February of 2000. At this point, instead of having the Peanuts inspire kids about space, they should have astronauts teach kids about Peanuts. <laughs> children, uh, this here, this is Linus. He has an unhealthy attachment to his baby blanket and believes in a supernatural gourd. He's the sane one. Charlie Brown here always wears the same shirt because he's clinically depressed. <laughs> but I'm a fan of both the Peanuts and NASA, and I wish nothing but the best for this renewed Peanuts-NASA alliance. But it is risky. We all remember what happened the last time Charlie Brown went to space. Good grief. We got a great show for you tonight. Carrie Mulligan is here. He's fine.